Hallelujah. All right. Um, let me tell somebody that you need to open your mouth and participate in this session of worship. Look at somebody and tell me for them. You need to open your mouth. Uh, yes. The opening of your mouth is total surrender to God. The opening of your mouth is total surrender to God. Let's say that to, to somebody else. Uh, all right. Um, so let me just paint a quick picture. Imagine if somebody is going to do, imagine, look at this hall, just look around, it's, everything is white, right? And imagine somebody, a very rich man, is coming to do uh, an event here, maybe a birthday, and the rent this hall. is a very rich man, so money is not an issue, right? So he puts a lot of money down, and be, what did they begin to do? They begin to add on. They will bring decorators in, they will begin to paint, and in fact, this place, the stage, maybe they will flatten it so that somebody can come out. I mean, you understand? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that is what your worship is going to do to the throne that Jesus Christ sits on. It's going to add on his throne. Yeah, the first song we're going to sing is that Jesus, we enthrone you. You proclaim as we worship, right? Feel this throne. Your throne. What kind of throne will you bring for God this evening? Lift your hands to heaven and say, I'll bring you a throne filled with my worship. Now open your mouth and begin to fill your worship. Open your mouth and begin to fill it with worship. Open your mouth and fill it with worship. Open your mouth and fill it with worship. We enthrone you, our King. We enthrone you, our Lord. Our Maker, we enthrone you. You are the one that is seated. We cast our crowns before you and worship our King. Words, words are not enough. Reke Baba Baba to describe you, Lord. Rapun de de Kaba Baba. But we have worship this evening. Mara Baba Baba Baba. You, you seek my worship. Rapo so take a little bit. I will open my, my mouth and worship you. I will surrender. You be the object of my worship tonight. Malereke Baba Baba. You are the one that I look to tonight. You are the one that I worship tonight. Go round this baba. Look to the heavens. I will look to the hills. It's you that I will worship. It's you that I will magnify. Maraba, make him bigger with your words. Ropasi Baba. Make him bigger. baba. Can you see the Lord? The, Isaiah said, I see the Lord. He's high and lifted up. The throne. Is filled with worship. A songwriter says, We cast our crowns before you, Lord. Come on, do it for a few more minutes. Look, open your mouth. Uh, open, I will give you for just a few more minutes. Uh, before we begin to sing, uh, open your mouth. Uh, Jesus, I worship you. 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 Let's sing together. Jesus, we are thrown you. Sing. Jesus, we are thrown you. We proclaim you as king. We proclaim you as king. Standing here. Standing here in the midst of all. We raise you up. We lift you up with our praise. We raise you up with our praise. As you worship, feel the throne. Feel the throne. Feel the throne, Lord. Feel the throne. As you worship, you feel the 
throne. Come, Lord Jesus. Let's sing it one more time. Jesus, we enthrone you, say. Jesus. With our praises. We proclaim you are king. We proclaim you are king. You are standing here. In the midst of us.
So we're going to be saying a lot of things about this mighty God. So when I get to the part that says, who we talking about? That's my king. So can we try it? Who we talking about? Uh uh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Make it bigger. Who we talking about? Come on, shout it one more time. Who we talking about? Who we talking about? Who we talking about? All right, so when we get to that part, I need you to shout it. That's my king. Hey, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Let's go. Come on, put your hands together.
scripture came from. They were going to the battle and they saw this person in the white and they asked him, are you for us or against us? Hallelujah. What Jesus did at the cross is fought all your battles. You know, the song that we sing, he, he's fighting my battles. I'm, I'm getting the victory. It's mine. So whatever you're going through, any, 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 any situation, just know Pray for the point of victory tonight. Hallelujah. This song says there are kings, there are kingdoms. Only Yeshua. Only Yeshua. Only Yeshua. Only Yeshua. Only Yeshua. We reign forever.
Before Yeshua we come to buy, we've come to buy. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Before the Lord, we've come to buy. Hallelujah. Before the Let's bow before you. Are you Lord God Almighty? Sing it together. Hold it and sing it. Oh. Are you Lord? You're gonna sing it. Let's bow before him, come on. Let's bow before him because it's royalty. We worship you in the beauty of holiness, Lord. We behold you in the beauty of holiness, Lord. You are holy, we are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Open your voice, raise your voice, lift your voice, we worship you. You are my righteousness. Say. For you are my righteousness. For you are royalty. Let's say you are royalty. You are royalty. So I crown you.
We worship your majesty. Come on, say with us, your majesty. Your majesty. Your holiness. Your honor. We worship you. Your honor. Hey, 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 temple fill this room. The crowd of heavenly worshippers surrounding this throne crying, holy, 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 holy. Only you are holy. Only you are worthy. Only you, Lord, are holy, holy. Holy, 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 Lord God. Holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy God, holy God, holy God, let's say holy, holy you are. Holy you are holy. There is none so holy, there's no one so worthy, Lord, sing it, say. Say this once again, only you are holy. Come on, help us say, holy you. Let us say, say, only you are worthy. Only you are worthy. To open the seals. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we lift our voice and say, only you are wonderful. Say, only you are With all on our lips, let's say, Holy, you are holy. Holy, you are holy. Let's say it again, Holy, you are holy. Holy, you are holy. We worship the holy God. Let's say, Only you are worthy. Worthy is the last say. Holy, you are. Holy Together we declare all about this room. Only you are wonderful. Sing only you.
One more time, let's sing on the you are holy. Ah, 
Yara bala bara 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 goro boko seka boko shana bana bana bana. Rabala gara boros. Yenga rabolo gara boros. Yara bala gara boros. Bara bala gadi borokoros. Yara bala gada borokoro basika thala bara gadi boros. Lord, we worship you. Mandere bosika thaya boros kata bara Our glory, the lifter up of our hands. 
We give you praise. Barianda Sikatala Borogoro Sikataya. Mandere Balagadabos. Jere Basinte Kere Moso Preko Sheketala Borogara Moso Preko Dush. We bless you. We worship you. We exalt you. Thank you, Lord. Mayando Robo Shekarama. Great is your mercy towards us, your loving kindness towards us. We give you praise. You're good, you're kind, you're merciful, you're gracious. Mara Masikataya. Your favor it lasts for a lifetime. What a good God you are. What an awesome Father you have been. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. We honor you. Indeed, we cast our crowns before you tonight. We say, hallowed be your name. We exalt you above all else. King of our hearts. We bless you. We honor you. We worship you. We've come to express our love for you. Be glorified, O oh God. Be glorified, O oh God. Be glorified, O oh God. Hallelujah. We bless your name. I want to, I just want to really speak to, to many of us actually. So this, what I want to say is not to some, it is to many, many, many. And that's, that's what's been ringing in my, in my spirit. And what I hear is that there's so much wrestling. Please listen very carefully to me. And so we, we have come to worship God in this new season as we step into this new quarter. Yet, there is so much wrestling. Um, wrestling with the will of God. Wrestling with the counsel of God. Wrestling with obedience to specific instructions. And God is saying that, you know, your worship will be complete tonight when you lay it to rest. Um, if you would really truly surrender your will at the altar. It is awesome that we have worshipped. It is awesome that we have knelt down. It's awesome that we have, you know, expressed our love for God in songs and in tongues. God is saying this new quarter, your worship will not be complete if you will not make your life a living sacrifice. And, 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 and there are people here, I know you, you know what I'm talking about. God needs your life on that altar. God needs your life on that altar. There is a weight of glory. There is a fire that is about to fall. But it will only respond to absolute surrender. It will only respond when you lay your will at the altar. That you can say, like Jesus said in the garden, not my will, but your will be done. What is it? What areas are you wrestling? I want us to just, this next five, ten minutes, it's going to be very significant in your worship experience tonight. What are those conversations that you have not been able to complete with God? You know, what are those conversations you have not been able to see through? What are those instructions that you are resisting? What are those things that you know you should be pressing into right now that you are hesitating? What, what are those things that God has spoken to you about that you're struggling with? Are they corrections? Are they instructions? Are they assignments? Are they new you know, new dimensions that you are, you know, you're just skirting around. Uh, God is asking tonight that the wrestling will stop. Um, God is asking tonight that you will humble yourself truly and lay your life at the altar. I want someone to just lift up their hands to God tonight and say, Lord, I receive grace. Whatever is, whatever is creating any form of resistance or stubbornness or unwillingness in my heart, let it be taken out in the name of Jesus. Let my worship be complete. Have your way in my life. I don't know what it is that God has said to you. I don't know what the instructions are. I don't know what, 
I, I don't know what it is that God wants to correct in you. I don't know, you know, for someone, it's, you, it's been a recurring experience, but you're just not yielded. You're just not yielded. And, and it is a barrier to that next experience. It's the reason why you're skirting, you know, you've you're just been going around in circles. There's a reason why you have not been able to break into new dimensions in God. And God is saying, tonight, let it be. Let it be your, your, that night where the altar of your sacrifice will be repaired. In the name of Jesus, would you just lift up your hand? And, and I want you to express yourself to God. Where, where do you need grace? What do you need to overcome? What is it a fear? God is taking that fear out of you. And he's saying to you, you know, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Lay your life at the altar. When you lay your life down, that is really where you find it. Uh, when you lay down, that is really where you find it. That is really where you find it. He that loves his life, the Bible says, will lose it. Uh, but he that would, would, would lose his life will find it. It's time for you to lose your life on that altar of sacrifice. It is time for someone to say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. In this family, not my will, but your will be done. Not my preference, but your wisdom. Not my decision, but yours. Concerning my career, not my will, but your will. In the name of Jesus, not my will, but your will. Concerning that enterprise, not my will, but your will. Concerning that relationship, not my will, but your will. Not my will. Make your worship complete. Not my will, but your will. Concerning that seed that God is asking of you, not my will. Would you lay down at the altar? Not my will, but your will. Not my will, but your will. Concerning that action that God is stirring your heart, God is instructing you to take. Not my will, but your will. Not my will, but your will. Mahasita Leborosh. Receive grace for obedience tonight. Receive grace for total surrender. Concerning that assignment, not my will, that door that God has opened that you're reluctant to step into, or that, that adjustment, that restraint you are feeling in your spirit, not my will, but your will. Not my will, but your will. To someone, it really doesn't make sense, but you know it is God. It really doesn't make sense. You are in that merry situation. It really doesn't make sense. Let your worship be complete tonight. Not my will, but your will. Not my will, but your will. Zatali Produsha Katalaba Rohu Sita Yagadish. If you can put First Kings chapter 18, verse 30 on the screen for me. First Kings chapter 18, verse 30. I just want to show you something. Very quickly. Guys, I want you to stay on the stage. Just let, let us be able to say, but don't go away. Um, and, the, and the Bible said, this is Elijah at the point where Israel was lost, completely lost. Um, and um, this was God trying to get Israel back to him. And there was what they called the contest on Mount Carmel. Uh, the prophets of Baal had tried to call their God, uh, get their God to answer by fire. Even though Molech is a god of fire, he couldn't respond. And after they had tried and tried, um, when it was evening time, Elijah stepped up. And the Bible says, Elijah said to all the people, come near to me. Uh, so the people came near to him. At this point, children of Israel were even confused about who the real God is. Because they had, they had gone so far away from, 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 you know, the God of Abraham. And the Bible says, so all the people came near to him. And look at the first thing that he did. The Bible says, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. We, many of us know about the story of the fire falling and the sacrifice. But the first thing that he did was to repair. What did he repair? What had happened to the altar? You know what a broken down altar is? It means that that altar is no longer in use. It has, you know, it has not received any sacrifice for a long time. You know, that altar has been abandoned. The place of communion, that place of exchange, that place of surrender had been abandoned completely. And so they, they, they had not experienced, you know, the, the kind of divine visitation. They had not experienced the kind of encounters that God had, had covenanted that the children of Israel will have on a regular because the altar was broken. And the first thing Elijah did was to say, if we're going to see the manifestation of God in this nation, if we're going to experience restoration, if there's going to be an end to this famine, we're going to repair the altar of sacrifice. We're going to repair that altar. And that is what God is saying to someone as we step into this new quarter. So much is ahead of you. So much is ahead of you. But you, you can't continue to live your life your way. You can't continue to live the version of Christianity that 
you know, has no sacrifice in it. You know, where the, the, the altar does not feature. It is it's just leveraging God for whatever it is I want to achieve. You know, that must come to an end. Praise the Lord. Um, the, 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 the hallmark, you know, of a true son of God is one that is led by the shepherd, isn't it? Uh, Jesus said, I am the shepherd. I am the shepherd. And, 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 and what does the sheep do? What does the sheep do? It follows the shepherd. Tonight, I just again, and I want you to really introspect. I want you to really introspect because the Spirit of God, you know, what it whispered into my heart is, I just want to lead people to that place of surrender. I want to help you there. When Jesus got to the Garden of Gethsemane, it, it, was, it was a difficult surrender for him. But what he did was to engage the presence of God, to engage the power of the Holy Spirit so that he could actually truly surrender. As I'm speaking now, some people are wrestling. And, and that's what I felt in my spirit since I walked into this service. Real wrestling in their spirit. Real wrestling. Just finding it difficult to let go. Finding it difficult to just lay it all and say, Lord, I trust you. Have your way in my life. Whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go, whatever you want me to say, however you want me to posture, whatever you want me to walk away from, I will walk away from it. Whatever you want me to embrace, I will embrace. You know, whatever you want me to, wherever you want me to go, I will go. Whatever you want me to start doing, I will start doing. Whatever you want me to stop doing, I will stop doing. Is somebody ready for that kind of surrender? It is at that point that your worship is actually complete. Would you just lift up your hand tonight and say, Lord, let my altar be rebuilt. Whatever is falling off, whatever is making that altar, you know, to, 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 to not represent a place of sacrifice in my life. Let it be rebuilt. Let my altar of sacrifice be rebuilt in the name of Jesus. I want fresh fire. I want new encounters in the name of Jesus. Help, help my obedience, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, that, that hurdle I've been unable to scale, that decision I've been unable to follow through on, that instruction I've not been able to obey. Ah, Lord, in this new quarter, I lay it all before you. Uh, behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Not my will, but your will. Behold your son. Let it be to me according to your word. In the name of Jesus. I will not walk out of this place and continue to lean on my own understanding. I will acknowledge you in all of my ways. I will acknowledge you in all of my ways. Then is my worship complete. Then I will be able to prove that which is the good, the acceptable, ah, and the perfect will of God. That is what the Bible says. Then my life will be able to prove that which is the good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, as you strengthen the hearts of your sons and daughters. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, as you grant the boldness, the courage, the wisdom, the grace. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus said, nobody can take my life from me. I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up. That same grace is being made available to you tonight. Ah, the power to lay down. 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 Somebody is watching me online. Ah, 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 you may be crying right now. But you see, the power to lay down has been released. God wants you to lay it down. Ah, enough of you trying to do it by yourself, by your power, by your wisdom. Lay it down. Let the wisdom of God come true. Let the instructions of God be the law of your heart. In the name of Jesus, Marabadika Sikataya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you just take us one song, one surrender song? Let's wrap this up. Oh. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. I give you Father, we thank you. We give you praise. And I see someone's peace being restored. Uh, as, you, as you surrender all, as you surrender all, uh, as you surrender all, I see your peace being restored in the name of Jesus. I see your joy being restored in the name of Jesus. I see a resurgence of your faith and confidence. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This, this quarter for you will be a quarter of unusual victories. I see in, on that altar of surrender, supernatural strength being infused in your spirit, man. You know, you know Paul said, it is in my weakness that I am strong. Uh, he said, because your strength is made perfect in my weakness. He said, I will glory in my weakness because when I am weak, that is when I'm strong. On that altar of sacrifice, I see supernatural strength being released on your inside. In the name of Jesus. In this quarter, you will not be weary. In this quarter, you will not be overcome. I see my God rising and fighting your battles. Uh, the Bible says, thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. You know, the battle is his and the victory is ours if we will let him fight. On that altar of surrender, I see you securing victories in the name of Jesus. I see unusual doors of favor opening up to you. I see your adversaries turning back and fleeing in the name of Jesus. I see the things that used to overwhelm you now under your feet. Because my God is fighting your battles. I, I, I see fear disappearing from your heart. Because in that, on that altar of surrender, there is a supernatural exchange. And a supernatural exchange is happening. Your confidence is restored in the name of Jesus. Not your confidence in yourself, but your confidence in God. And God is saying, you will not be put to shame. I said what? You will not be put to shame. You will walk on waters. In this new quarter, you will walk on waters. What men have said is impossible. Our God will achieve with ease through your hands. In the name of Jesus. Ah, someone, because you are letting go of pride, you will no longer be resisted by God. My God is making your progress easy. The things that used to keep you grounded, they are giving way. In the name of Jesus. To someone, God is wiping away your tears. This quarter, you only shed tears of joy. In the name of Jesus, your laughter will be perpetual. It will be evident that God has gone ahead of you and that he has perfected all that concerns you this quarter. In the name of Jesus, I declare to someone, contention has come to an end. This quarter, enjoy the peace of God. Enjoy progress that only comes from above. In the name of Jesus, I declare you fruitful. I declare you fruitful. You will not labor in vain. Your harvest will not be lost. In the name of Jesus. This is the end of almost seasons for you. You know what it means? Almost season. I almost got the job. I almost got the contract. I almost, it almost happened, but it slipped through my hand. I declare in the name of Jesus. In this quarter, you will not experience almost. As you pursue, you will possess in the name of Jesus. The favor of God will attend to you. The favor of God will multiply over your life. In the name of Jesus. By our God, you will run through troops. By his power, you will leap over walls. Because you have demonstrated the heart that makes you trustworthy, I see massive opportunities coming your way. That contract is yours in the name of Jesus. That job opportunity is yours in the name of Jesus. I declare this season for you a season of harvest. In the name of Jesus, your bands will be filled with plenty. Your vats will overflow in the name of Jesus. I declare the peace of God in your home. 
the peace of God over your children. I declare the peace of God in your business. In nothing will you be terrified. In the name of Jesus. A significant portion of the goals you have set in 2024 will be accomplished this quarter. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. Would we give him a clap offering tonight and bless his name? Hallelujah. I just heard right now, this quarter is a quarter of conception. As many people are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this quarter you will conceive. And then if you believe that or you are receiving it for someone, shout a very big amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for someone in this room who needs to surrender his life to Christ. Um, Michael, don't disappear on me. You know how we do this thing. Praise God. You are, the first order of surrender for you is committing your life to Christ. And maybe you came here also wrestling in that regard. Someone may say, look, I've, I've said that prayer in, in a shape or form while engaging this service online or even while I was praying. I said that prayer in, in, a, in a shape or form. I want you to just engage with me on this one, okay? I want you to engage with me on this one. You know right now that before you walked into this service, you did not have any relationship with Jesus. You could not confidently say, you know, I have committed my life to Christ. Or maybe you once gave your life to Christ, but you know you're not living a surrendered life. You're, you're doing things your way. You're backslidden into sin. Um, Jesus wants to fix that tonight, and that's why he organized you into this service. That's why he ensured that you're here, you know, um, engaging the worship experience wherever you're joining us from. I just really want to uh, invite you into the fullness of life. Uh, Jesus said, I'm come that you may have life. You can't experience the life that Jesus has to offer if your life is not surrendered to him. If you have not allowed for that exchange, that you will, you will open up your heart and receive the eternal life that Jesus died, uh, that you may have access to. And so this evening, I just want to invite you into that space. Do you want the hold of sin over your life to be broken? Do you want to experience a father-son relationship with God so that you, you understand what your life is really about? Do you want to uh, live a life of purpose? Do you want to live a life where you are guaranteed eternity with God? So as you prosper on earth, you are also assured that your eternity is secured. Do you want to live a life of meaning, a life of impact, a life that is immune to the wiles and the trickery of the enemy? Um, do you want to live a life you know, that is an extension of the wisdom of God, an expression of the love of God, an embodiment of the life of Christ. If you are that person, I just want to ask that you put your hand on your heart. While everybody else, just please bow and, and, and help me pray for these people. Just help me pray for these people. Um, we don't want them to walk out of this service the way they came. Uh, maybe, like I said earlier, you said a prayer of surrender in your own way, in your own words. I just want you to join me in this prayer. You know that you're the one I'm talking about. Just put your hand on your heart. If you're watching online, just indicate, I want to commit my life to Christ. I want to, I want to be transformed. I want to be a new man. I want to be a new woman. I want to, I want to, I want to have a, a new experience in God. If you are that person, just put your hand on your heart. If you're right here in the room, and if your hand is on your heart, I want you to lift the other hand above your head. Uh, and I want to do that with boldness. That is what a surrender life does. You're, you're, you're dead to yourself and you are alive to Christ. You are responding to Christ. You're not responding to man. You're responding to Christ. Just lift your, the other hand above your head. I want to pray with you. God bless you, my brother. Anybody else, just lift your hand above your head. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. Um, um, you, you, you want to commit your life to Christ. You want to place that life at the altar. You want to exchange what happened. God bless you, my brother, at the back. Everyone whose hand is up, lift it up very well so we can see you. If you're online, make sure you're, 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 you're indicating that you're committing your life to Christ tonight. God bless you. God bless you. There's a gentleman over there. There's a gentleman at the back as well. Um, I want everyone whose hand is up to make sure it's, it's well raised way above your head uh, so I can see you and I, I know that you're saying this prayer. God bless you, everyone um, that is opening up their heart to Christ today. I can assure you, your life will never remain the same again. And if you're engaging us online, please do the same if you know that you are yet to surrender your life to Christ. I want you to say this prayer after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die for my sins and that you raised him up for my justification. I repent 
of my sins. And I ask that you forgive me. I declare Jesus as my Lord and as my Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I declare that I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for everyone under the influence of this service that has said this prayer. We destroy the hold of sin over their lives. We declare in the name of Jesus that these precious souls are translated from darkness into light, that they are established in your courts, and that their life will bring forth fruits to the praise of your glorious name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You want to put your hands together for everyone that said the prayer. Let's be excited about what God is doing in our midst. Heaven is rejoicing. Let us rejoice as well. Let's do it very well. Let's do it very well. Congratulations. Welcome to God's family. We would love for you to fill the card you have been handed um, if you're in the room. And, and please just give it back to our officials before you exit. We want to keep in touch with you after today. We want to support you in your faith journey. We want to ensure that you're established, that you continue to thrive, that you continue to bring forth fruits in the name of Jesus. And for those who are online, please click the link in the, in the chat section of the platform you're on. Um, provide us with your details. I want to invite you um, to a special experience, um, uh, you know, uh, New Believers Foundation class, where we would um, just talk you through things you need to understand so that you can continue to grow and you can continue to thrive as a believer. Praise the Lord. All right, how many people were blessed by that session of the Elevation Priest of Praise? Help me love upon Pastor Debo Adedero and the Elevation Priest of Praise. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for that awesome experience. Hallelujah. All right, it's time for us to package our offerings, our tithes, our special seed. is one of the ways that we express our love for God. It's one of the ways we express our worship. Um, the Lord, God, you know, he, he delights in our sacrifices. He delights in our offerings. Um, he, it brings him, you know, joy to know that we love him and we acknowledge that he's the giver of all good gifts. He's our source and sustainer. So when we bring our offerings, our tithes, our special seed, we're demonstrating our acknowledgement of God as our source, and we're also expressing our love for him and our commitment to his agenda. Praise the Lord. And so whatever it is you brought to worship God with today, let's package it. If you want to give electronically, which is our preference, please take advantage of all the details that are on the screen. If you want to use your card, we have pure seminars at the back. Um, we also have offering envelopes in the pockets of a seat in front of you or the one you're on. If you want to use um, a check or you want to give cash, if you're using a check, please do that in favor of the Elevation Church. For everyone engaging us online, um, various payment gateways you may want to explore are being displayed as we speak. Would you lift up your hand or your offering envelopes as we pray? Lord, thank you. Thank you for another awesome opportunity to minister to you out of the abundance of your blessings, our tithe, our offerings, our special seed. We bring this with joy in our hearts. We give, Lord, because we love you. We give because we are committed to your kingdom agenda. And we ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you accept these offerings. Let they ascend before your throne as a sweet-smelling aroma that brings you pleasure. And we trust you, Lord, for corresponding harvest for every seed sown as you promised us in your word. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.